her move. Like damn, she in her move. Like damn, she in her move. Like damn, she in her move. She lit, the money too. Like damn, she in her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my bands. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boobs in the bus, they plump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like ice, how you always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like, damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit. Get money too. Like, damn, she in her mood. No friends, I don't fuck with the fake. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest. Show the paparazzi in my face. Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it a bug. Bitch, too boring, I'm stuck in a rut. Never get me wrong when I hop at the chug. Pretty bitch, like Lauren with a big ass butt. Yup. Pretty face and a waist all gone. And I'm making them wait, hold on. And I'm making them wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit. Get money too. Hey baddies. If you're new here, my name is Ashley Tamara. I'm coming at you guys today. We are actually gonna do something a little different. So my mom actually came and got Phoenix last night. I just want to just take a quick minute to acknowledge the fact that um, my little community of family just for stepping up because um, you know I used to be the one that like never had a babysitter I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie let me let me let me make sure I say this right so before I used to travel so much I would have to um, you know prepare babysitters different ways so I really didn't want to have babysitters and breaks because I would be on the go so much but lately since I have been home a lot more I ain't gonna lie Phoenix be driving me up the wall and anybody that's a single mother not even a single mother just a mother in general sometimes you just need a freaking break so the fact that my family has been like stepping it up they see that I'm overwhelmed burnout sometimes you know just to pick her up without me having to ask is like a true blessing so this eve so last night my mom had hit me up um she had my nephew so she was like you know i'm gonna come get phoenix too and i was like great you know i don't even turn down the um the opportunity to have help anymore because it is totally refreshing just to be able to get up and go not have to have the responsibility of you know mommy to where it's like you just don't have the responsibility of being a mom having to figure out who gonna eat what so you know last night i was just able to just spend time with myself and it inspired me today to just get up get cute and have a solo day so that's basically what we're gonna do um so if you are a mom in general you know team up with other moms come up with ways to give each other's breaks because basically between my mom and my sister it's the summertime the kids are home we have been kind of rotating the kids so sometimes it's my turn i'll get the kids give my sister a break even if you have something to do sometimes it's just a pleasure to just be home and not have the mom and if you're a mom you understand that so anyway i'm fixing to um get up out of it well i'm already in route i'm actually going to try this place it's called wick it's a candle making bar um, I have been wanting to go here for years, just never got the chance to go. And I was like, you know what? Today would be the perfect day just to go try something new. I love candles. So I'm going to go make my own candles. And then it's this restaurant in town I want to check out that's new. Go get me a cocktail, something cute to eat, you know, and just have some me time. I had got out of work and I am a little behind today. I probably didn't get home to about 2.30 or so. The place closed at 5 o'clock and it's 4.15. It's 
no, I'm actually going to get there at 4.15. So I'm hoping that they don't turn me away because I really don't know how long this process takes. But from my understanding, it's a quick situation. But if it's not, if it's not meant for me to go today, I'm just not going to rush it. But I feel like, okay, I know it's Sunday. I know y'all want to go home. But if I get to episode 4.15, how that work? So, whatever. So I just came home from work took me a little shower you know did a real simple beauty routine which I think I mentioned in a couple vlogs ago I am just kind of over wearing all the heavy makeup so I literally just bought me some tinted sunscreen threw that on divide my eyebrows a little bit and did some freaking mascara I ain't want no lashes and all that oh my god what is these people doing y'all oh the way these folks be driving Okay, and you know, motherfucking what? You know, y'all got the back. Oh, okay. Let me just go around, y'all. Because y'all got the back of y'all car is blown out. Y'all missing. Y'all don't care? Y'all don't care about, about your shit. So, let me just. <laughs> I also just want to acknowledge that it is hot as a freak in Florida right now. You know, I just. I, oof. Like, my car is literally telling me it's 100 degrees outside, but it feel like it's 115. Like, if you is out here in these streets, baby, you got to have you a, a glass of water from time to time because you, you just won't make it. I can't be some ice water on me because what we not going to do is be out here dehydrated and pass out. It's just a no for me. It is hot as shit. So y'all just come with me for today. We are going to go on a solo date. So, okay, so, and I, I really kind of knew better. The place closes at five. Um, they said they stopped taking people at like 4.15, which, you know, it's 4.18, you know, you know. But I understand, um, I definitely want to come back um, you know when I'm not feeling pressed and rushed because like I said, I really play So we just gonna go ahead and keep it moving I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the place for food because I'm really hungry anyway so Let oh, it's literally two minutes away from where I'm at so that kind of worked out. Oh so the place is actually Just two minutes away from here and I don't even feel no kind of way because when I saw they closed at 5 o'clock, I really played all day. Talking about I'm coming up in here at 4.15. I mean, it do. You gotta have time to make the damn candle. So, we'll do that another time. That'll be another date that I take myself on to do these candles. Because, you know. So, anyway, I'm about to, um, yeah, to, to where I'm going. I'm actually gonna go pull up to this other spot and we'll just go eat and we'll figure out something else to do.
know. So first of all, the food at 1937 was delicious. The only thing that I can say negative about it is that the portions was just not big enough. Because what y'all want me to do? I'm a big mama. I know I'm a little... But I'm a big mama. I need to eat a little bit more. But anyway, everything was so flavorful. I actually was sitting there talking to the head chef. Um, and he is a native of Maryland. So baby know what he's doing. That corn was delicious. The kale, I did the kale, the corn, and then I did a fish. It was called the unicorn fish. I got it blackened. That fish was so freaking good. One mile, turn right to East Union Street. It was everything was just on point and delicious. Like all jokes aside. Um the drinks were very good. I have nothing to say negative about my experience in 1937 other than the bad day. I just feel like they could have gave a nigga some more food because what y'all want me to do? And then I ended up, um, I did, what did I do for an appetizer? I did the fried green tomatoes. Everything was just delicious. So, you know what I'm saying? They got one of us in the kitchen over there and it shows because the flavor was there. Everything was so freaking good. And I feel good right now because I had two little cocktails. And you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling real good.